3G networks in the United States are sunsetting, and that means they are going away for good. Today, I'm going over when each network is closing the door on 3G and how it will affect each carrier's total coverage. And let's be honest, why are 3G networks still even a thing? It's kind of like high-heeled sneakers. If you wanna wear heels, cool, wear heels. Don't try and make them something that they are not. And if you want to use data, just use good 4G LTE data, not crappy 3G service. Blech. If you haven't yet, don't forget to comment, like, subscribe, and of course, turn on those notifications. I come out with two new videos each week. So first, what is 3G? 3G networks blossomed in the 2000s after 2G, paving the way for the first ever functional smartphone from Apple, the first iPhone, that let us use the internet in our hands. And for nearly 10 years in the early 2000s, 3G was the best thing in mobile communication technology until the next best thing arrived around 2010, which was what we have now, 4G. But ever since 4G became a thing, 3G has slowly and now more quickly become more and more irrelevant in our society with 4G speeds offering us incredibly fast data and now 5G paving the way for one gigabit per second speeds to become the norm. Now 3G is really just a fail safe now in case you're out of range of 4G signal. Well, now with that being said, one national survey found 17% of Americans use 3G only. Of those 3G only users, there are three main reasons why they haven't made the switch. 4% say they don't have a 4G capable phone. 83% say they don't have a 4G cell phone plan. And then the last bit of people, 13% say they don't have 4G coverage. Now, most people in the 3G only category will just need to get a new plan, and that's easy enough and cheap enough these days too with great budget plan options. Now, the same can be said for the 3G only people who need to upgrade their device. There are so many great deals for switching carriers and even just inexpensive cell phones in general. Now, the only people that I worry about, and only just kind of, are the people who claim not to have 4G coverage, but which carrier are they with to not get 4G coverage? So let's take a look at our coverage maps from whistlap.com. From each of the carriers side by side, I'm showing you 3G versus 4G coverage, starting with Verizon. Now, in case you can't see, I will spell it out for you. Verizon has more 4G than 3G coverage and won't lose any coverage when they sunset 3G. Now, if you're one of the few people who think they might be affected, do not worry. It's almost a guarantee that Verizon will replace 3G tech with 4G or 5G tech, giving you coverage if you're in a place that only has 3G. Now, I don't think any Verizon customers at all will be impacted, but just in case, now you know. Now, Verizon was supposed to sunset their 3G almost a year ago at the beginning of 2020, but that didn't quite happen with all of the chaos in this country. So currently, Verizon plans to sunset 3G for good by December 2020. Now, moving on to T-Mobile, when T-Mobile sunsets their 3G, they also won't lose any coverage, so no need to worry there. They have more 4G than 3G. T-Mobile does not have a set date yet for sunsetting, so by the time that does happen, there will be so much more 4G and 5G coverage, you couldn't connect to 3G even if you wanted to. Now, if 3G turned off for all carriers today, the only affected customers would be AT&T's. According to our maps and numbers, AT&T would lose about 3% of its total nationwide coverage. And that would affect about 11% of AT&T's customers who are still 3G only. However, 3G isn't turning off today. So for AT&T, they plan on sunsetting in 2022. So they have some time to make sure their customers won't be negatively impacted by upgrading their plans from 3G to 4G as well as their devices. So 3G sunsetting won't affect the majority of people in this country, but as each carrier sunsets their 3G network, I'll post new videos helping you to better understand what to expect. In the comments, let me know your opinion on 3G sunsetting. That's it for me today. Thank you for watching What's Loud TV. I'm Sherry Riggs.